I mean, they called us twice when we were on the way to that dispatch call with different locations. So, I mean, I don't see why they're not calling right now with new locations. I'm not gonna... I'm not gonna go for that dispatch call because it wrecked everything last time. Oh, fuck. Although I'm sure as soon as I hit that dispatch call, they'd tell me where the cab is. That would probably happen, knowing my luck. Okay, hold on. No, that's not what I wanted to do. That's not what I wanted to do. Sound? Music. Oh. Relief. <laughs> I do not want to hear this shit in my ears. I mean, very lightly, that's fine, but not very loud. That lady's like a high pitched voice all in my ears. Not a fan. Not a fan. Oh, wow. What is straight ahead? Oh, it's a tunnel. It looked weird from here. I was like, the hell is that thing? Alright, so we should be there soon. I remember this tunnel is always by the police department. Or it seems like we pass it a lot. Unless there's a lot of them. I'm not sure. Oh no, this is... Oh yeah, I've seen this. I think I glitched out right there. Okay, I'll respond if it's right there. No problem. No problem. What's this all about? Loading screen. That is that is a crime. Go to hell, Papa. No way I'm going down without a fight. Oh Drop my the weapon, god. The hands behind your head. Yeah. Fuck you too. Put your hands in the air. Is he taking that bus? Is he taking a bus? No, he's not taking a bus. No shit, he went in the alley. You think I'm blind? I'm stuck on a box. I'm stuck on a bunch of boxes. God damn. Always waiting around that corner to shoot at me, Don't isn't me he? Chase you. Oh yeah? <laughs> Fuck that guy. <laughs> He's still alive. He's still fucking alive. <laughs> How do you s I fucking shot him a bunch of times and he fell down like a story and a half, maybe two stories. The fuck? The guy's made of steel. That was a good time. Good times. This car, love Good King. news bears. Buys all units that the 211 from Mallory's Cafe is code 4, KGPL. Roger 11K, all units 211 from Mallory's Cafe, code 4, repeat, code 4. Great, great. Alright, now the cops, uh, the police station's right down here, so let's go. Here we go. Better not turn in my lane, asshole. Okay. So, um... Yeah, uh, I don't really have much to say on this case so far. I don't know who did it. Yeah, there's still so many suspects to check out that it's hard to say. Alright, let's look. He's in interview What's going two. on in here? Thanks. Interview 2. What do you make of him? Sailor on furlough who looks like he's in trouble and knows it. Well, he probably is in trouble, I'm sure. He did something. I don't think he... Oh, that's interview room one. I got the jitters again. Where is interview two? It's lineup gallery. Interview two? Yeah, it's this way. There we go. Detectives Phelps and Galloway. We know why you're here, Jessup. So it would be best if you answered our questions truthfully. Sailors are only good for making trouble. out. That's why I'm here. I heard on the radio about this lady getting killed. I got leave from my CO to come down straight away. So why did you kill her? I didn't kill anyone. Look, you need to believe me. Let's start at the beginning. You Contact went to with Baron's bar. What time did you arrive? I got a 24-hour pass. I got there around 7. That's where you met Teresa Terrelson? Sure. We had a couple of drinks. Doubt. So you tried to make a woman who was incredibly drunk? Look, I'm not proud of myself, but I never hurt her. You took her dancing? That's right. Caught a cab to the Crystal Ballroom. 
I. You had a fist fight with Richard Bates over Mrs. Terrelson. You met the guy? He's a creep. You should take a look creepy. at him for this. What's the yeah, down? the finger directly at you, Jessup. I only had one night before I was back in the tub. He had all the time in the world to look for some action. I belted him. I'd do it again. She was better off with me. Sure. You're a shining example of He just wanted to get it in. <laughs> We're holding you till we can clear this with the driver. Yeah, my CO said as much. Can you put the guy in two in a cell and inform the commander? Sure, detective. Sure, detective. Okay, thanks. Got a message Thank for you. you. Sighting of your disfigured hobo on Brand between Temple and Sunset. And it looks like the bow has a record, too. He's wanted in connection with two female assaults. Thanks. Wonderful. God damn, everyone just... All these bitches be getting assaulted. They need a whole... They need some pepper spray or something. Or a gun. Alright, so do we do we know where this is yet? Three no? suspects do in we? the can and one on the hook. Or is that still in the same place? Because I'm not going back there if it's still in the same place. That's where the crime is. Um let's see, where is uh where I my location? No, see he wasn't there. So we're gonna go to the hobo camp, I suppose. KGPL to car 11K, 11K command. Alright, what's up? 11K, go ahead. Patrolman reporting that Bobby Ross's car game is breaking up at midnight. 11K, roger that. Only have time to get downtown, Cole. It's possible. Have them bring him in. KGPL, okay. we have Lars Carrollson picked up. 11K, roger. Why? Whatever. Doesn't matter. So we'll go to the hobo camp. I think we ought to investigate the hobo lead. Well, if you think we ought to, then I guess we ought. Oh man, this traffic. It's just you know what? Why don't you drive, guy? You know the way. You, can you go ahead and drive. Cause I don't want We're to. Looking for a tall, disfigured man at the camp. Could be difficult. Yep. Most bums look deformed to me. Come on, Rusty. <laughs> this isn't gothic fiction. Hobos are just like you or me. They're just men who've fallen on hard times. You ain't much of a detective, Phelps. You think a hobo's like me. Clue number one, how do I smell? Of alcohol Terrible. and stale sweat. You know, I may be on to something here. Very funny, uh -huh. Phelps. It's basically a hobo, then. All right. They said they saw my, um, hobo... Somewhere. Hopefully it was here. Oh, that guy was like standing, then he was sitting, now he's playing the harmonica. My partner's got a shotgun. Shit's about to go down. Is that my guy? LAPD. Looks like a creeper. We'd like a word with you. Save it for someone who's interested. They're fascists. Come to move us on and steal what little we have left. Six rounds won't get us far. We need to escape what we say. Oh boy. We need to hold that. Looks like this looks like a good this looks like a good time. Oh. If you want your rightful share, we need to fight for it. Asshole. Oh, look at me. Just get moving out of the way of your punches, you dumbass. Ooh, what you want, bitch? I'm gonna fucking look like he was gonna make out with him, but I guess not. Me, you bum. I fucked him. What's up. your name? Comrade Stalin. Very funny. Oh yeah. We'll oh yeah. Your personal effects. Stuart What's your name? Ackerman. You're under suspicion for Ooh, murder. Oh, he is Ackerman. a creep. We're taking you downtown. You, you can't do anything more to me than what the Japanese have already done. Okay. He probably has like some post-traumatic stress disorder, and now he's all kinds of mental. All right, let's Kremlin's see. Over here, Phil. Thought it's too defined. Ooh, look at that! He's got some rope. Yep. Looks familiar. Yep. Safe better to match the Certainly does. Chin. 
Probably will. So, what's this? This is a lady's handbag? TT? Is that a TT or an II? Can't tell. What's that? Oh, like Crystal Ballroom. Okay, so that might be her um, little bag she took out. What's this? Oh, that's a picture of that guy. Seems irrelevant. Okay. All right. Does he have any bloody? Besides the rope, does he have like clothes that are bloody? Eh. There's a newspaper. I don't really need that. All right. Well. That's a little bit crazy. I mean, I'd like to see that taxi cab, but I don't think we're going to be able to. Yeah, just don't won't even let us now. Oh well. Went to the dispatch call instead. Alright, let's go. You can drive. You're behind the wheel. Hurry up, man. Oh, he's so slow. He's so fat and slow. Come on. I don't got all day for you. Let's go. Husband has an alibi, but no real motive other than neglect. Jessup's alibi checks out. Bates is a recidivist. He'll be pulling the same stick until we put him away for good. Ackerman has history, opportunity, hard evidence. What motive? We have the evidence. We know she was here. All we need is a confession, and we can charge the bum with murder. All right. Well, we'll see. We will see. We will see. Yeah, I like, I have a feeling it's like none of the people I arrested that they're all just being framed and shit. And they're all just admitting to it. And they're like, oh yeah, I killed that bitch. Sure, why not? Is he in this one? Nope. He must be in interview one. See, I know, I'm learning. Ackerman, hey, man. The Marines. How do you know? The Corps selected big guys for flamethrower duty. That's how you got the burns. Life expectancy was five minutes for a guy in flamethrower detail. What kind well, you're of still alive. Puts weight like that on a man's shoulders. No, it's pretty hardcore, no sorry. For me. It was a heavy load. You feeling sorry for this smelly fuck? Oh, he's such, he's so emotional. Why did you kill Mrs. <laughs> I have no recollection of the people I have killed. Creep. Lie. Are you denying that you strangled Mrs. Terrelson with a length of rope? I'm not denying anything. You have to have proof, lackey. But you think we didn't see that <laughs> bloody rope that was just all, you know, in your room, out in the middle of everything? We found a matching piece of rope in your lean-to. I think we'll find the blood will match, too. I own no property. How could it belong to me? This guy's a smart ass. The driver dropped Mrs. Terrelson near your camp around 2 a.m. Why did you take her up to the hill? Which hill? I have many places. I go where I please. Oh, well. <laughs> Lie. Lying Ackerman. There must be a reason. You could have killed her in the camp. My reasons are my own. Can you disprove what I say? I did. <laughs> I don't know what I was trying to prove. It's nothing personal. I think I just job. wanted to say that the, the neighbor saw him up there, but I guess. Oh, wait, no, she didn't see him up there, so we'll just say doubt. You are clearly insane, Ackerman. The state of California does not execute mental patients. I don't know the names of the women I've killed, but I've killed many of them. Oh, the well. Are so fragile. Creep. Stuart Ackerman. I'm charging you with the murder of Teresa Terrelson. He just loves to yell in people's faces. Rah, blah, rah, rah. <laughs> Bye. You have a kind of a big nose too. <laughs> a man All right. as luck I can abide. But a filthy red who chooses to live outside the rules of society, I cannot stomach. 
Maybe poor three of Tarleton will provide the catalyst we need. I've spoken to the chief and the mayor, and I think it's time we send some men in to remove the godless and send them on their way over the county line. Oh, sure, sir. Day, that will be gentlemen. Blah, blah, blah. The you have brought me. You two are fast becoming my finest crusaders. Great. Okay, 13, 17, 12, 14. Yeah, I always get about that much vehicle damage. City damage, 5, 2, 3. Every witness counts, even the cabbie who was among the last to see. Well, I can't fucking find the cabbie. Jesus Christ. God damn. <laughs> Give me a break. 